people come I just post a live view with my people. Today we do, today we are travel with we take we go now to the refugee camp. This refugee camp is situated in a, in a place called El Vangen, that's in the Allen district, Allen, Allen region. Yeah, so the name for the refugee camp now, Leia. I, I cannot uh, pronounce the, the, the letters in German because it's very long. So Leia El Vangen, the name that for the refugee camp. They put us over a DB map, it will take you go for the place, El Vangen. So now in this now, now the place this will get to stop twice him. For this tries and either you stop for here or you go stop for Evangen start itself that's Evangen city so yeah this is tries them now train station we come over and now you cross road now you start going now yeah in this now you go there's a long path that you walk through the long path to get into the to get to the asylum camp it's in a lone place at Evangen so now they surrounding the this so for go for the camp after you walk this long path now you come now you see the gate as I hear from people that they blow before you, it was a former military base in those days when Germans were fighting their wars. So they turned it now into an asylum camp. That's a refugee camp. So now the entrance is now so for the camp, the opposing entrance now. So you will see a lot of things. You will see um, German flag for the but the Württemberg flag. You see a lot of things there. So now the entrance is the main entrance into the camp. So you enter the camp now. You can you pass through this gate now where you could present yourself. You talk with you, you can't do it. If you get any documentation, they ask you, you, you present them. If you don't get a no problem, they'll take your name. Then from that, them now they'll lead you now inside the camp where you're supposed to go and do your registration. So now in this now, the approach now to the gate, to the main gate itself now. You go there now. After you don't pass through the gate now. You don't do the necessities. The gardener will take you now. You enter inside the camp now. The first building where you enter inside the camp, you will see I'm not going to do registration. But then the next day, they'll call you, go do your fingerprint. Do you, you fill your form. They'll ask you a little bit of questions. You fill them. Then now, this one, this is the government building. This is BAMF. Anybody we know about asylum procedure in Germany, you must be talking about BAMF because now they decide the result. Then now, this is an um, info point. And four point down uh, blocks 86 this way now uh, characters and these diacony all those associations and then uh, inside this now so for the camp this is where we sleep these are the rooms of the camp you see it's not very bad it's well taken care of it's cleaned these are the various rooms and toilets this is the corridor as you see in a camp so now uh, face me a face to work as you commonly call it in africa you see in a room then this room do you get picking them for the naturally and that for outside Room with couples, so I'm picking them. You get the children of outside. This is the corridor. So this corridor now, lead you. This building has three floors. You have the second and the third floors up. So now the first floor, this will do this. Room. Now inside the room, this is also the room they look like anybody be each person be entitled to a cupboard, to a zinc cupboard. Yeah, these are the beds, bunk beds. You have person sleeping on, person sleeping on top. We're just fortunate to have a lot of space in our room because we're a lot of us. Yeah, so see, um, our room is well arranged. Yeah, this is how the room looks like. So it is not that bad the way people used to talk about it, you see. Now this is the surrounding. Oh, that's the hospital. This camp has everything in it. That's the hospital opposite this building where people still have the hospital. And that's a um, Caritas office also beside the hospital. And where children go and learn. Education center for kids. Yeah, now this is the football fee. Now this is the road, road taking you to the restaurant where it is. A, this is time for lunch, and these people, these are people walking towards the restaurant. So, I that's that for the work and they go for go shop. Now restaurant, this we have to see uh, that has no be before. So I take this video. So now in this now snow everywhere snowy. Everywhere snowy. Heading to the restaurant. Opposite the restaurant, you have uh, where they, they do German classes. You also have where they do laundry. That's a building over there that you're seeing. And you also have where they collect clothes. So now people are coming back from the restaurant. You see part of the restaurant. This is the back side of the restaurant. Yeah, this is another hotel. People with trolley. They usually use that path to get into the restaurant.
that's the field filled with snow that's bamf again there are cars of uh, government officials walking inside the camp now we'll go to the activities that people do inside the camp you see yeah there's a lot of sadness in this camp because people come with mixed feelings but when you're used to the environment you make yourself happy so these are some syrians dancing they, they usually do this every night when it was not yet snowy when it was still spring so this is what they do you make yourself happy while some are taking their shisha everything is allowed in the camp except bottles knife anything that you know is going to harm you it's not permitted if you're smoking their shisha people drink but not alcohol alcohol is not allowed in the camp so you can drink it in hiding so you see those are the middle easterners dancing and we're vibing to the dance <laughs> the dance styles it's so nice to watch aside this you also have football which uh, uh, if i remember very well they usually play this football every friday but uh, individuals do play any time of the day any time of the day also have table tennis also have table tennis yeah you just have to find something that will make you happy aside that we also have different types of foods that we have in the camp if you're going to the camp make up your mind because nearly uh, nearly every day you have to eat bread this is what they give for breakfast this is what they give for lunch the food keeps repeating itself day by day day by day sometimes we eat bread in the morning and at night sometimes we eat rice in the afternoon and at night so it just depends yeah this is what i gathered the chocolate that they give from butter i gathered <laughs> now i have salads this at least dinner yeah this is dinner now these cutleries they give everything these are cutleries and if i remember very well if, you get, if one gets missing you need to pay yeah now this is what they give in the camp you have to make up your mind either you eat excess rice excess bread you just need to make up your mind because every day the meals keep repeating itself the same thing so as you can see it's not that bad as in other places yeah the food the quality of the food might not be good might not be tasteful in your mouth but it's not as bad as in other places so this is the timetable for the bus they have a free bus that takes a photo elf and start elf and city and bring them back on time so as you can see my people here is the video I want to thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you. Tschüss.